The Super Mega Cast is brought to you by idiots like you. Thank you for the support. Now on with the show. Hey guys. Hey, what's up? What would you know? It's episode 290 of the Super Mega Cast. Climbing up that ladder, man. 290. I know. We're almost at episode 300. Episodes keep coming out, it seems. Something special is going to happen. At some point, there will be a last episode. I, I think about that sometimes. Like, I was driving in my car the other night, and I was like, there will be a last video on Super Mega at some point. Oh, it's this conversation again. Jesus fucking Christ, boys. Fuck off. There's we the, have uh, whatever goddamn conversations <laughs> we want. We could just kind of sit here and... D- Oh, let me check my phone real quick. How was uh, the zoo? I didn't go. What? Mm. Did I saw you fed some ducks. Yep. Where was that? San Diego. Oh, did you get my... Yeah. Okay, I see it. Yeah. Thank you, by the way. Sure. Uh, people are liking the... Content recently, it cool. seems. That's cool. That's always good when people like the content. Yep. Seen any movies? Nope. Okay. See, it could be like that. <laughs> but we 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 haven't given up completely yet. Are there podcasts like that? There's no way. Because whenever you make a podcast, you you're want, like, like, why would anyone? I want a that? voice. Because you feel like you're just in a room with. Like friends checking their phone, and then it's like every now and then, you know, maybe you get a tidbit of information. I would just look up like like airport or like hotel lobby ambience, you know. Could I do a stream where it's just like, uh, on your phones, on your phone with your friend Ryan, and it's just like I'm on my phone just chilling in a chair. Well, actually, I'm just browsing Reddit, watching YouTube videos. You don't really say much. Yeah, you just kind of. <laughs> Do do a stream. Everyone thinks that like your stream's about to start, like you're just warming up, like like <laughs> stream starting soon type shit. But you just do like two hours of just, just like regular, just kind of like when you're the at home speakers. by yourself. Sometimes I lower the speaker down and like put it to my ear. <laughs> or like you play a TikTok like three or four times, like just hear the audio <laughs> repeating out of the. Because when you when you were big into your Vine days, I'd I hear from the other ha, room. Did you, did you know? I was about to actually bring that up because I was like, we we mention this every time we have to. You know, bring up Vine or something. Well, yeah, dude, it was, it was. I miss it. It's something that they don't, they don't make vines like they used to. They don't, they don't, don't make vines. vines at all. No, they don't, man. Now they're now they're TikToks, you know, and that's just lame. It's not the same to me. Boring. Uh-huh. TikTok is is a breeding ground of of icky. I was in the TikTok for a little bit, and there's some there's some good people on the platform. I never I really could get in. Like I've tried to get into TikTok, 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 TikTok multiple times, and I haven't really been able to. I don't know why. It's like I just can't, like, I don't find myself wanting to check it. Maybe it's because, like, my, whenever I try to get into it, my shit's not tailored enough yet. So I like more long-form shit. I like something to have on while I'm doing something else. And TikTok, yeah. you have to be fully engaged in it. I listen to like addicted. long videos while I do stuff now. So I'll listen to, like, 20 to an hour, two-hour long videos. I love, like, video, not video essays, but just videos where it's, like, a guy with a monotonous voice, like, talking about, like, the Tampa Bay Sunshine Bridge disaster happened. <laughs> the Tampa Bay Sunshine Bridge. Is that a real thing? Mm-hmm. What happened? Skyway. Sunshine Skyway. Sun- uh, it was it was foggy out and a big old ship uh, smacked into a bridge, which was a really popular bridge where a bunch of cars were driving. And it, part of it fell and then a bunch of cars drove off it because it was foggy and they couldn't see. And then just... How many people died? Uh, let me look that up, actually. A lot? Because, cause, I mean, the people were driving off that bridge, dude. That's guy, dude, you're just driving to work, it's foggy, listen to music, then just... You're just... Your brain can't probably just can't even make the calculation. Because you see the road up ahead, I'm guessing, a little bit because it, the bridge is broken in a way... It, it, it's not like the... You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, if you... Like, it was tall, You know what I'm too. saying? Uh, well, no, I, I'm not looking up how many people have jumped off the bridge... Damn hmm. it, I'm trying to... Deaths from the collapse. The big one. I watched a video about it. Uh, 35 people died. Damn. Yeah. Like, dude, look at... Oh, man. Look how tall that is. Driving a car off that. Oh. Woo! That's like death on impact. Uh, a lot of people survived in the water. Really? Because I listened, like, in the 911 call, or the... I guess the airbag hopefully would just... Yeah. The Coast Guard call, where he's like, Attention all ships! 
He's like, there are people in the water. <laughs> Does he sound like that? Actually, that... Attention all I surprised ships. myself with how good that impression was. There are people in the water. It's Tom Hanks. There are people in the water. It's more like that, like, it, listen. I kind of got, I actually kind of got it spot on, I think. Wait. There are people in people the water. People in the water. Fucking great, dude. Yeah. There's uh, people in the water. They're just having fun, dude. man. Sounds like a revelation in a horror movie. <laughs> Revelations. 21-6. What is 21-6? What? Which one is 21-6? Revelations 21-6? Yeah. Uh, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Drink freely for That's some fucking- shit. That's like, like the coolest line in the Bible. Right? That's where God's just being like. I'm fucking awesome. Yeah, God's like, yeah, uh, in case you didn't already know, I'm fucking awesome. And I have all the power in the universe. Why don't you just stop Satan? Segue to people who think that they are godlike and have a lot of power. Yeah. Will Smith. Will Smith. It's a sentence. Yep. Will Smith. Will Will, Will Smith Smith? Smith? Yeah, we, Will Smith, we've done Will this Smith. before. Yeah, 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 it's classic. Um, but what did what did Will Smith? He he wasn't Smith in last night. Um, he slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars. More information: uh, Chris Rock made a a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith, mm-hmm. who is Will Smith's wife. About, it was a GI Jane joke. It was dude. a GI Jane joke referencing her her shaved head. The reason she has a shaved head is because she has alopecia. Mm-hmm. Um, she has in interviews though said that you have to find the funny part in it. So I guess she just wasn't feeling that quote tonight. Yeah, unfortunately. But uh, she rolled her eyes at the joke. Um, Will Smith laughed. It could have been seen as insensitive. Yeah. Uh, to make a bald joke or a shaved head joke when she is uh, struggling with it. But Will Smith then took it upon himself to walk up on stage. Uh, before the presentation of best documentary or some documentaries or something like that, it was, it, they were gonna, documentary. Yeah, yeah. He walks up and s- just full on slaps the shit, hits. I guess hit slaps. It was pretty hard. Chris Rock. I, that was a pretty pretty hard. Uh, and then sw- and then swags back onto his chair. You can tell he feels real proud of himself. He's got his like fucking thumb on his like waistline. He's like Ooh. yeah. He's like walking with some swagger. He knows like he's there's on- gonna be a lot of pictures of that. <laughs> like he's walking like he's like showing off his suit. <laughs> well, he was, dude. Everyone was watching. Oh yeah. And then he sat back down, and uh, Chris Rock is, was like, "Will Smith just knocked, hit the shit out of me." And then Will Smith responded with, "You know, we might as well just listen to the clip. Why not? I'm sure. I'm, I'm explaining it. Let's just listen let's to listen, the clip. Let's listen because to it- what Will Smith said to Mr. Rock. Yeah." Uh, I'm sure this will be easy. To this find. was also at the time of recording. This was last night. Yes. Jada, I love you. GI Jane two, can't wait to see it. All right. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's that was a that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> here he comes walking up. <laughs> Ooh. Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Get my name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was a... Uh... Greatest night in the history of television. Okay. When he looks off to the side, I think he's probably like looking at like the producer. He's waiting for someone to stop the fucking show because he was just assaulted on national television. Did you watch it live? In front of millions of people, much less thousands of high profile motherfuckers Dude, that he knows. He got embarrassed. Like he got slapped <laughs> in front of like every big celebrity too. And Ooh. no one did shit. They all just went, go on. Yeah, they're like, keep going. <laughs> and he's like, um, really? And then Will Smith won the Oscar and got a standing ovation. <laughs> and then the Oscar's like, we don't condone violence. <laughs> Will, Will Smith, said, I think, should have been walked out of that fucking place by security. Yeah, he should have been escorted out. That like, that was just crazy, man. Him and his bald wife. Yo! <laughs> hey, careful, Ryan. 
You're gonna hear a knock on the door. <laughs> He's gonna boom, be boom, boom. decked in the face. Open up. See, you you, you saw what Jaden tweeted too. Yeah, he said that's how we do it. Fucking what? You gonna call him a nerd? <laughs> Their family sucks. Their family's filled with fucking just narcissistic, sociopathic idiots. I think you're just saying this because you're jealous. Will Smith entered the YouTube space I'm and has more subscribers, dude. How come? I can't hit Chris Rock and get away with it. That's true. Imagine if he was up on stand up one night, like open mic, testing out some new material for a Netflix stand, you know, thing show he's about to record. I just go up there. He's he no no. He looks at me. He goes, he's you know testing the audience. What do you do? I'm a YouTuber. Make some jokes. I go up. Keep my job out your fucking mouth. I will. Okay, and then he just keeps going, and no one yeah. does anything. <laughs> yeah, like that. That was fucking unreal. I, I, I see a lot of people defending Will Smith on Twitter. Bunch uh, of dumbasses. And I see a lot of people defending Chris Rock. Uh, I that I mean, that was just an assault. He hit him hard, too. Like, the, the, Chris Rock well, handled it really well. What's the defense? What's the defense? Like, what are they Smith? saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That uh, he, like, he's, he like, was he's standing, standing up, up for his, his woman. Well, there's better ways to stand up for your wife than on national television. We don't live in the fucking Stone Age. Or we don't, you know what I mean? Like, there's, we're way, Honestly, we should be way past... Physically assaulting someone because they made a joke we didn't like. The the uh, the the slap could have been enough. You know, he could have sat back down and then it could have carried on. Honestly, he could have walked up on stage and he could have even just had a temper tantrum and just went, "Fuck you, man," and said she is struggling with blah 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 and like did this whole thing. That would have still been cringe and awkward. My the problem is that he fucking hit <laughs> Chris Rock in the face. You can hear on the mic; it's pretty. Yeah, it's, he was it surprised. sounds painful because it's not a slap where it's like. It's like a, you know, like a harder. Yeah. And uh, Chris Rock. He put his waist into it. Chris Rock responded pretty pretty well, I thought. I thought he handled it. He was like, oh, wow. I mean, how, how do you respond to that? Yeah. I wish they got in a fight. Got in a little tussle. And then I love that then Will Smith wins like best actor. And then uh, he's like, God. You know, the first thing he says is, Richard Williams <laughs> was a strong protector mm. of his family. It's like, dude, you're not like Spartacus. You don't have like a shield and a spear, like just fucking uh, uh, slashing, you know, slicing and dicing your enemies it's for just, the honor of your family name. It's so confusing to me. You're fucking Will Smith. He's laughing at the joke. Duh. You're that guy. <laughs> My your, father. Your son is a joke and cringe. Your wife's uh, a fucking head is just up her own ass. You're a, you're. What about her head? Look, <laughs> careful, Ryan. Careful. The fucking will just. It just looks like it's. I don't want to say anything like he has anything, but to me, that's just like sociopathic behavior. That to feel like you have the right to walk up during like an event. The Oscars. Like much less anything. Like I couldn't imagine like walking up to someone like you said something that pissed me off. I walk up to you and hit you. Like yeah, when you feel like you have the right to, I not everyone who hits someone is a sociopath I guess it's more so the locate everything mixed yeah. together it, it it's it's like the amount it's it's how strong the reaction was and also like the the context of it yeah you know so especially considering you see him laughing at the joke like it wasn't like he was still laughing at the other joke like he, you could see him laugh at that joke and and Jada's rolling her eyes well did you hear during his speech will said people make fun of you and you just have to smile and pretend like it didn't happen or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I did. And he said he's a vessel for love. He said, God, he said God sent him here to be a vessel for love. It's also shocking. And a river for his people. It, because it's like Will Smith isn't necessarily, it's like not the person you'd expect to do that. Because Will Smith has always been known as like the more, um, you know, like his whole thing is like he raps but he doesn't curse. You know, it's like. <laughs> I just don't how I just don't see how anyone can logically deter that this is a logical thing that someone would do to protect his wife from from a from a fucking joke albeit potentially albeit insensitive joke still a joke nonetheless Chris Rock Worst jokes weird. have been told at the Oscars Ricky yeah. Gervais has probably told some of the most like how did he get away with that shit type of jokes Oh yeah Especially with the Mel Gibson stuff. Like, well, that's right the before thing. Mel Gibson comes out to present, what is he calling say? out? He's like calling out his controversies and just oh. like pretty much uh, 
equating him to a Nazi and talking about his hatred for Jews. Right like before the, he comes out? Yeah, right before he comes out. Well, like with any, and right before Robert Downey Jr. came out, he mentioned Robert Jan- Downey Jr.'s like drug and jail time and shit. Oh, you know that Which is shitty. Like it's shitty. But like, you still don't hit someone over that. Some people just need to be checked. Okay. Okay, tough guy. I think that uh, what's funny is, um, well, like, well, like Chris Rock is like, he's a com- you. If you hire a comedian to host the Oscars, then a comedian's gonna make jokes about people in the audience. Obviously, you know, yeah, like that's what they do. Like if you if you watch the uh, not what is it the, the presidential dinner they have every year, you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Like they roast like everyone in the crowd, like all the politicians and stuff. It's like think think of how intense they go with the Comedy Central roasts. They go really intense. Like with sometimes those. they do go too far. Oh yeah, I, the Bob Saget one, Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> it's almost not even a joke. <laughs> he just fucking. <laughs> but it's but coming out of Gilbert. That's hilarious. yeah, it's really funny. And well, the thing about that one was just like everyone was making that joke, mm-hmm. which was weird. But rest in peace, Bob. Yeah, he hit his head, which I hit my head last week, or someone actually someone else hit my head with a much padded, much more padded glove than what we'd be using in an actual fight. Yeah, Ryan and I sparred on a wins. Uh, we Thursday. sparred for like thirty seconds, I would say. A couple times, thirty seconds each. Yeah. Yeah. You rocked me in the noggin. You clocked me. You rocked me. You picked me up and dropped me. I went bam. Yeah, I dropped my dropped my left hand. Tried to throw a hook. Ryan came in with the perfect counter and just doink, got me in the head real hard. And I saw stars. I see. That's why they you call felt it like sl- Chris Rock. Yeah, like that. I, like, now I know how Chris Rock feels. Or Chris Rock knows how I feel, <laughs> yeah, I think exactly. is a better way to put it. Because this happened before this whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I, wa- I saw that video right after I got out of training, too. Well, I saw- Which is another big thing that's finally officially announced. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're in creator Speaking class. of hitting people- We're going to be hitting people in front of a lot of people, just similar to how Will Smith did. We're going to be hitting people in front of an audience. Yep. A lot harder than what Will Smith did. Our opponents, well, you, people have known uh, Matt's facing dad, dad bot, Nathan Barnett. That's right, facing if dad. If you want to look up the person who he, you know, is fighting. Um, and then I will be fighting Alex Ernst. That's right. Mm-hmm. The I've block. met him once. Yeah. And I'm, I'm supposed to, we're supposed to talk about, like, I think, like how you and Nathan talked about kind of your fight. And just Ian was like, y'all need to just kind of, like, talk and see how you want to do things. Because I... Are they giving us a choice? I still don't know. A choice in terms of, of headgear, glove size, glove I think size so. and all that. I, okay. I don't know if it's fully finalized, but I, I think Nathan and I are going to use sixteen ounce gloves and no headgear. Okay. Which Nathan uh, initially wanted to <laughs> use uh, like fourteen tens. Tens? Yeah. He Nathan. Had cu- he had custom tens made, and I was like, <laughs> tens? That's how you break someone's skull open. That's how like, you're gonna break your nose, dude. Well, a ten. I feel like a ten. If you get clocked hard enough with a ten, you can get like you can get a very easy concussion because that's that's pretty much like bare fist, like with just a little bit of padding. Those are intense. You could break your hand with tens really easily yeah. with a punch. Like you can just. I still have to, like, reach out to Alex about that stuff. But I'm assuming we might go for sixteens potentially. I don't know. Sixteens seem like the whatever best. he feels. If like if he wants to go to. 14s or whatever. I'm, I might be a bit, a bit like just because it's our first match. Yeah, that's my thing. It's like I don't know if I want to go to like fucking 12s for that because it's it's well, they, a lot of gyms don't even let you spar with 12s. Mm-hmm. So that says something. I think that uh, 16s also make you put up more of a fight because it's a little more cushion, so you can't. Yeah. So it makes the fight more visibly cool to look at. I wouldn't last very long with 10s because it's like basically just one hit, and then I'd be so stunned that like I'd be out. But 16s or 16s, you know, you know, it's it's you got that padding, so it's more boop 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 boop. And uh, we, so we, you and I, kind of, you know, goofed around and sparred a bit then, and then and we fooled around a little bit. Your trainer's been working on your endurance, and then I've had my second like full on, like sparring session yesterday. Yeah, yeah. How so. was that? I watched the video. You look really prepared for the fight. Yeah, <sighs> you do. You look really. You look. I, really... I sped it up two uh, two times. What? I, I sped the speed up, and I paid the guy. I'm not the guy who filmed, of course. 
Because oh. what is he doing? He's just filming. Well, it looked. It's... I just paid the guy that that I was going up against. It still looked good. Oh yeah. Even if you cheated, it's chore- it choreographed. Oh, I was wondering because when we fought it, it, but like it looks like if it looks really good. Okay, because uh, hold up. Here's the. You want me to cut this out? Here's the actual footage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's okay. Uh, yeah, that that yeah, but it didn't look as good as what you showed me earlier. But I'll, I'll cut that out and yeah. Well, I wish you hadn't lied to me, but it, it no, I wasn't didn't. lying. I just thought like I thought it would. I thought it would impress you. It did impress if me. I like I edited like, wow, together like a really little well. like trailer for myself. Yeah, you're fight. You were fighting really well on that. I thought, <laughs> but then seeing it on regular speed just kind of looks, you know. Pathetic. And knowing that the guy's a paid actor. Yeah, that also kind of pathetic. And yeah. he's wearing body armor, and you weren't. I have no idea about Alex at all. In terms of like, I I remember him back during Vine, because I was big into Vine. Yeah, you were. And Alex was on there a lot, and he made funny shit. Con- was he part of the Hype House? Vlog Squad? I don't know. I just know him from like, I knew him from his like solo shit on Vine, and then he did do uh, collabs a good bit with other people. But after Vine ended, I just kind of lost track of him. And then when he he was propositioned to be like, hey, this this would be your opponent. I'd be like, okay, wait a second. I recognize that face. That's right. And then I had a big old flashback to Vine. That's right. Crazy. Yeah. I think it, it'll be a, I don't know. I think it's an even match on my end. I think it could go yeah. either way. I, I, I'm not like soup. Like I'm, <laughs> I've been training. Yeah. But you've been training really hard. You got to give respect to the other opponent because they've also been training. Well, I feel like, uh, I feel a little mismatched. Because I mean I've been, I've been training and uh, Nathan has been training. Uh, well, first of all, Nathan had been doing boxing for I think over a year before we even got. But never up. sparred. Yeah, never sparred. But Which he, that's a big one. He'd been doing boxing lessons, and I um. So he knew how to throw a punch and stuff. Yeah, and he's you know very choreographed because he's been a dancer for so long. So his endurance is insane. But you can't choreograph a fight. That's true, but that means he has good. Unless footwork. you're me. Well, Fuck yeah, that out. it's fine. Yeah. Uh, which means he has great footwork and you know, he's, he's training like full time, you know, I have to work on super mega Nathan. So yeah, you know, a I big, actually a have big a property. Yeah. So, uh, I don't have time to train all day. Oh, hold on. Hold on. What's wrong? Um, Getting a phone call? Yeah. Smooches. See ya. See ya. Bye Justin. Ooh, I hung up before you Come could on, man. say goodbye. Come on, man. Even let me say goodbye to the brother. I'm sorry, my man. <sighs> My crazy little man. I'm not your crazy little man. Yeah, you are. Well, you know, I'm 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 about to uh, train harder for like the last six weeks. But basically, what I'm what I'm the most worried about is something that I can't fix. Is being it, gassed out? No, no, no. I, I mean, I, I'm I'm confident that I'll be able to train my uh, cardio enough to you know be able to last the the rounds. Yeah. Um. Because I still got a lot of time to be able to just go hard on the cardio, but it's my feet. Uh, because my feet, like the bone structure is fucked up, and I have bunions on both feet. So my first, my big toe and my second toe overlap each other, and the arch of my foot's all fucked up. So I've always walked kind of like, like I don't walk normal, and, and they're just fucked up. Uh, and it's made the stability aspect of the footwork really hard for me because just my feet aren't proper for being stable. Other than like standing and walking. So like trying to like, you know, go around on my toes and like be like bouncing and stuff and having correct footwork is really hard. And that's what I'm worried about with the fight is that he's going to have solid footwork, which he will. And then I'm going to have really sloppy footwork because I can't fucking help it with my feet. I should have had the surgery that they offered me when I was a kid, but I didn't want to forego my summer vacation. It still kind of blows my mind that at some point, you know, we're... But I guess from my perspective, like I'm gonna like be in a ring, yeah. in a stadium fighting. When I think about it, I get really nervous, <laughs> excited, like, but like I'm like, yeah. oh god. I think it'll be fun. I think adrenaline will pump us up and kind of amp us up. Oh yeah, it'll be a lot but of I, fun. But I feel like that could also be bad because adrenaline could pump you up and you can end up gassing yourself out early because you have a lot of energy and you're like, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna try to look good and go for big punches. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's gonna be fun though. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Creator Clash, Idubs uh, is hosting, or yeah. he's like spearheading this 
uh, influencer boxing match, and Ryan and I, as if you haven't noticed, are both boxing in it. Not each other, but... I've been training to use mostly my legs in terms of, like, kicks. So that's where... I'm not really good with punches yet. So, like, right... In, so I'm going to be using a lot of, like, kicks and stuff to create distance and use power nice, in the fight. Nice, nice, So that'll be good. Yeah, I've been working with my trainer. Uh, he taught me this one move that I, I love it. It's basically... I kind of because i have long arms i reach around and i hit him in the back of the head really hard just <clears throat> like that oh yeah it's awesome you Love just kind of like you position him like you force him to face away from you and just fucking clock yeah. him in the back oh of the yeah head. he's gonna get hit in the back of the head a lot he's not gonna like that too much <clears throat> but I'm, yeah you know <clears throat> i'm excited for him uh and and you'll see you'll see us training more and you'll see our progress as the weeks go on maybe it's uh do you want to give away your your, your no. delicious? I want to hide it. Little. I want to hide my muscles. <laughs> I don't, I'm gonna hide them away from the. You world. sent you recorded a diss track. I did. So I your did muscles record a diss in there. Track. And uh, Nathan Barnett, I mean, uh, d uh, Dad responded with showed off his abs. A and disappointment his, track where he his... was calling me a bad person for the things I said in my diss track, and um, his was his was pretty good. I'll give him that, but you know, it it was. Uh, you know, I think he's trying to play the holier than, hey, I needed than thou the money card. Before we get into it, I needed the money. I needed yeah, the, let's get into that because I, there's a certain you know, somebody in that diss track come on, that man. lent their voice to say things like, oh yeah, this this Matt sucks. This is better. You're going to kick his ass. I didn't think you would do that. I thought you would say no if- I was just reading the lines off of a script, dude. Relax. <clears throat> you know who else used the excuse I was just following orders? Nazis? Nazis. I'm, are you comparing me to a Nazi? I am, yes. For... For what exactly? For going behind my back and lending your voice to my opponent. A disappointment track? Yeah. That's a bit of a stretch, or, you know, you know what you think? This podcast might as well be Nuremberg Trials right Come now. Come on now. Look, I needed the money. Ca you know, cash is tight right now. I gotta be looking after my own. That's how we do it. Okay. That well, is how we do it. I was, I'm still not um, happy about it. And I do think that it, it is similar to things Nazis would do. But uh, anyway, we're gonna go to ad, ad reads now. Uh, we'll be right back after this break. Support for the Super Mega Cast is brought to you by our friends at Manscaped, the leaders in male grooming. Their fourth generation performance package absolutely changed the grooming game along with their refined body wash to round out your hygiene routine. Join the four million men worldwide who trust Manscaped for their shower time routine by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code SUPERMEGA. You know, one time I was trimming the old uh, twig and berries and uh, whoops, guess what? I snipped my nuts uh, with a real cheap razor and believe it or not, your nuts actually bleed quite a bit uh, and I found out that day. Uh, never again will I let that happen because now I'm using Manscaped. Using their lawnmower 4.0, I never have to worry about that again. Also, have you smelled Manscaped's refined body wash? Fellas, the ladies love that signature scent. Ryan and I, when we're done working out, we hop in the shower, lather up, smells great. You and your boys will be oh so fresh and oh so clean when you start off your self-care routine with the ultimate body wash. And keep that game going with the Performance Package 4.0. Inside, you'll find the Lawnmower 4.0, my favorite, Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Toner, Performance Boxer Briefs, and a Travel Bag to hold all your goodies. And that Lawnmower 4.0 has advanced skin safe technology, a 7,000 RPM motor, a new multifunction on off switch that can engage a travel lock so it won't go boof in your bag, and gives you the ability to turn on a 4,000K LED spotlight whenever is needed for a more precise shave. So when I'm in a dark cave shaving my nuts, I can always see what I'm doing. Manscaped even threw in two free gifts to their Performance Package 4.0. The Manscaped Boxers and the Shed Travel Bag. Bring your comfort and boxers to another level. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code SUPERMEGA at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code SUPERMEGA at manscaped.com. Keep your balls trimmed, fresh, clean, happy, all that good stuff with Manscaped. If you're carrying a credit card balance month after month, it can feel like you're in a never-ending cycle of debt with no end in sight. Upstart is here to help make that final payment so you can get ahead. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan, all online. 
Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. Rather than looking at credit score alone, Upstart considers other factors like your income, current employment, and credit history to find you a smarter rate for your loan. You can check your rate without impacting your credit score in minutes for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. You can even receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. Layton, uh, one of our buddies who works at the Super Megaplex with us, actually recently just used Upstart. He had some personal debts to pay off, and Upstart got him a loan uh, the next business day with a great interest rate, too. He said, wow, Matt and Ryan, thank you for suggesting Upstart to me. You've made my life insane in a good way. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash supermega. That's upstart.com slash supermega. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Upstart.com slash supermega. Welcome back, everyone. You're still listening to the Super Mega Cast, by the way. That's right. It's not over yet. Nope. I know you wish it was, but nope. There's still plenty more to go, baby. Yeah. Plenty more. You know? (laughs) About six hours left just a, six hours this time yep okay i don't understand how some people do those podcasts where it's like three or four hours joe episodes. rogan does long podcasts like that's i i He's just the podcast king i get tired man i get like worn out talking like it, unless it's two people it, it's you know i get worn out about an hour and a half. If it's like three or four people, I can probably go a little longer. Yeah, because there's you don't have to do as much talking. Right, and you have other people to you have more stuff to bounce off of. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's easier to keep it going. But when it's just two people, it's just bouncing back and forth. They can get tiring after like an hour, but uh, three hours, four hours, we got to do a really, really, really long. I still episode. think an hour is like Jesus. I know. We should do a long episode one day, like a really long one. What's the longest one we ever did? Two and a half hours? Yeah. Was it one with like, was it with Chris and Ross and, or was it like with Chris and Ding Dong and Julian? I think, I think Julian? it was the one with Ross. The one with Ross? Yeah. Was there anyone else? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think Chris and Julian maybe. Okay. But, was Ding Dong not there? Uh, not for that one, no. Okay. But I, I, I think that, uh, yeah, that might have been our longest one. No, I feel like we passed, I feel like we did another one that was even longer. Oh, when Jack Jacksepticeye came on and just uh, screamed really loudly for about three hours. Oh, yeah. We just kind of gave him a platform for some reason there. Yeah. And, Shouldn't uh, have. We just let him learn our lesson. Holler. Screeched a lot. Yeah. Um, and that's how he got there. But, you know, it, that, that, that was a, that, you know, it's a pretty good one. I uh, had a dream. Oh, th- are you talking about the new documentary about Jack Jacksepticeye where it compares him to Martin Luther King for some reason? Yeah, that was odd. Yeah. Like, fine documentary, you know, documenting his, you know, about his his rise to fame, but... The thing think, where it's, like, him in a suit, like, it's Martin Luther King in a suit, and then it crossfades yeah, to, like, you know, they need, they match their eyes and nose and mouth and, and stuff. Yep. And it crossfades into Sean. I watched it, and I thought that, you know, I was like, oh, this is a a nice tale of, like, a boy. It's filmed really well. Yeah. Well, it's Tucker shot it. Very it, Tucker did emotional. an amazing job. Yeah, but, but then it got to that part. Yeah, halfway through it starts getting to the parts where it starts comparing him to Martin Luther King. Well, it, what what more so was even uh, the comparison of Malcolm X. Yeah, which I thought was kind of in poor taste. Not just in poor taste, but wrong. Yeah. Just like I think their connecting points didn't hit, and I don't feel like they did a good job of solidifying the connection between the two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. Like... Especially with the Martin Luther King thing, trying to compare like, uh, well, that made more the, sense. Well, not the part about about the Selma right? No, 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 no. No, but everything else. What did they compare him to? Anyone else besides MLK and Malcolm X? I feel like there Forrest was, Gump, but that was just kind of like an offshoot. That was like that was like an, a joke, I think. Oh, Nelson Mandela, they did that one. They really just started comparing him to black figures a lot. Yeah, you know. What I was disappointed by the scene where Sean, you know, portrayed Malcolm X. Um, I thought that that was a little insensitive the way he chose to go about that. But Tucker did a great job shooting it. Yes, still looked beautiful. Yeah, Tucker's the only guy I know. Number one on Apple Apple TV m- TV. Yeah, I was about to call it Apple Movies or something. Eh, might as well be. Do I remember the iTunes store back in the day? Ooh. Dude, the iTunes store back. Dude, do you Ooh. remember when the old Max came with that little remote? Yeah. And you click it and it would show you movie trailers? Yep. Yeah, remember that? Oh, yeah. 
you could also play, press and play, like st stop and play music with it from on iTunes. So what I would do is I would I put the file for the what the fuck? Remember the WTF boom mm -hmm. thing, which is Rocco from Mega sixty four. Doctor Octagonopus. I would put that loaded up on the iTunes. All I do is press play. I turn the computer volume all the way up. And when I go in the other, room, my dad would sit down, and start doing work, and when I press play, and I would just hear it explode down the hall. I'm like, son, damn it! Would you? Did he shit his pants? Yeah, he shit his pants. Oh, of course, he's he fucking shit his funny. Pants. He I would do that all the time. Briefs. I would just, kind of, I still do that prank to a degree where when people sleep over at my place, you know, I have the sound bar in my living room, which I can connect to from my bedroom <laughs> and start no. playing things. Uh, who is sleeping over at my place? Uh, I think uh, Justin was sleeping on my couch once, and I played something. I don't remember what I played, though. Uh, was he annoyed? Maybe it was like 10 hours of farting. Did you annoy him? I did annoy him, yeah. <laughs> oh, Trevor. I scared the fucking shit out of Trevor once. He was sleeping on my couch, and I think I turned the volume on the sound bar all the way up. And I, did, I actually didn't realize how loud that is. It's really, really, really loud because there's a subwoofer and everything. Yeah. And uh, I don't remember what I played, <laughs> but I, I, I think I played like... Uh, some like emo song or something and it just rocked my house and Trevor was like I had just fallen asleep it scared the shit out of me <laughs> dude that rock the, that just oh, that brought back memory remember how often our past apartment complex in Glendale the fire alarm would go off and we'd have to go outside and dude like at like in the middle of the night I forgot like, about late that. at night there would be people just like tired and just like holy fuck like just sitting on the curb waiting. Yeah, remember the time? Wasn't there a time where I was like we had to be out for like two hours? Yeah, like middle of the night. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, it would always go off, and it was never for uh, an actual. So no one pulled it. Warning. There was something wrong with the actual system. It's like an electrical fault. Yeah, and it would make the smoke alarm go off all the time for the whole building. Never would have to fucking leave their apartments, grab their be pets. so loud, so fucking loud. And everyone had to bring their dogs down, and all the dogs together would, you know, start barking at each mm -hmm. other and stuff, and just standing out on the streets in the cold. It was, it was, that sucked. I totally forgot about that. Good times, huh? Good times. I'd be laying in bed watching something, going, Beep! dude, it would scare, <laughs> because there's, it's in every room. So if you're in your bedroom, and it's dark, and it's like 3 a.m., and the fucking, like, it, it's as loud as the ones in, like, high schools. For, for comparison to people that might. It's such a jarring way to wake up. Like, I like how whenever someone wakes up, at least for me, like, it's never, like, when I wake up to, like, that, it's never, like, <gasps> it's always just, like, I open my eyes, and I'm, like, my eyes are really wide, and I'm just looking around trying to, like, make sense of the situation. You're like, mm. Yeah, you're, like, um. Yeah, it never makes me jump. It's just, like, you, like, you freeze fully to, like, process it. Yeah. I, fire alarms shouldn't be, like, like the beginning of a fire alarm, why don't they do something like they do with like, like tornado sirens where it starts like, because like you're still, you'll still hear it, but it won't scare you as much. I know, but they want to scare you. That's the point. But it's like, those fucking nuclear sirens are horrifying. Those are terrifying. Those that was uh, that sounded good, dude. That sounded really good. Isn't it horrifying? Yeah, that was that was a really good impression of like those if I ever heard that, my I think my I would get butterflies. Do you think we have I would get here? the bad butterflies or the my bad stomach, butterflies the, when my stomach sinks. Yeah, the bad butterflies where it's like oh yeah, and it, your stomach gets all hot. I remember feeling like that when it happened in the Iron Giant. Oh, fuck. launch the missile now! For some reason, I always think he says launch the goddamn missile. <laughs> no. Like, whenever I think back, I always see him saying, launch the goddamn missile! Where's the giant, Mansley? I think I'm confusing it with the Simpsons movie when Marge says throw the goddamn bomb <laughs> at the end. I, I really think that... Throw the goddamn bomb! I, I really think that, uh, I swear to God, he says launch the goddamn missile. And, I, and it's like, whoa, he said it. He just goes, launch the missile now! Ding! <laughs> That's so fucking crazy, bro. Dude, what I always what I always thought was the most the badass tower. moment of that movie was when when he shoots like that one like green energy orb like out over the horizon of the ocean and then it's like, oh, <laughs> the big, yeah. like green like mushroom cloud yep. thing. I was like, whoa. That I need to rewatch that. It's, that's that's a, a good, good ass movie. movie. It's a great movie. I know a, you love it. A really good uh f has a good uh mo like animated food movie scene where he has the Little Twinkies and things, and he stuffs oh. them with cream. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! It dude. looks so fluffy. And I delicious. wanted that shit. And the way he eats, he's like, 
Oh, so when they're eating the ice cream? And he crumbles at the, ch well, the chocolate. Oh, yeah. Oh, we know what's wrong with the chocolate. <laughs> we still haven't played that uh, meat and fuck Iron Giant <laughs> Oh, game. true. We, we need, we need to. to play that for you on the channel or on Patreon. <clears throat> probably would have to be on Patreon. probably Patreon. Considering our new mail video just got demonetized or age restricted again. Yep. Why this time? Well, I think- Ah, uh, the blurred penis. Well, it's Justin puts in the Today on Super Mega thing, Justin puts like the blurred penis stuff in that. Oh, you think if it didn't yeah, show up there? Yeah, because someone, like, someone at YouTube watches the first, like, five seconds. Like, oh, yep, hit it. So I think that when there's stuff like that in the Today on Super Mega thing, because there's, like, it was me, like, So it's Justin's it. fault. It is Justin's fault, okay. because if if it wasn't in there, it probably wouldn't have been Now I know who to scream at. Yeah. Not me. Don't scream at me. No, I won't. I won't. Uh, <laughs> I haven't watched the full mail video yet. I need to. It's good. Justin said that the part of my balls fall job. out is good. That one's good. I watched the first like two minutes, but I was uh your your ball is bloody and it just goes <laughs> up to the table. I was out of town this weekend, so I, I watched a little in my hotel room. But hey, then you didn't go to the zoo. No. Why not? I had so I was in San Diego and I went to the zoo uh, yesterday, and for some reason my cell phone does not work in San Diego. Nowhere in San Diego do I have service. My 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 you know. Like but my, you did go, so you didn't go to the zoo, but you just said you went to the zoo yesterday. I went to the zoo. Okay. I didn't go in. Oh. Because my phone, I could not load my tickets from oh. my email. And literally all around San Diego, my hotel, the zoo, uh, restaurants, I have no service. No internet or anything. Turning your phone off, turning it yep, back on. did that too. Turning off I, the cell icon. It must be something, I have no idea why. It was just San Diego. So I go on my email and I, I walk around the parking lot. So first of all, I spent about 40 minutes looking for parking. I park. Uh, I get to the gates of the zoo, email will not load. It's like no connection, no connection. And I connect to their Wi-Fi. Is it one of those things you could have screenshotted beforehand? Yes. Maybe? But hey, this is a lesson for the future, though. This is not this is not something you did wrong. This is something where you now can take extra precaution well, for the just in case. You know, it's just like looking looking forward. I like, know. It's like why would I? Uh, or at the time, it's like. Oh, why would I not be able to pull up the email with my tickets? I mean, that's what I do with, like, the movies. Like, I save it to the Apple Wallet. Yeah, so basically, I'm like, why do, I can't even, like, search the email. So I walk around the parking lot for, like, 30 minutes. I've had finally, this problem, but not to this extent. Finally, it loads the email. And I'm like, yes! And I click the ticket, and it has to load the PDF, and it won't load the PDF. <sighs> so it literally, after, like, almost an hour, I was like, okay, I'm there just There should going be home. something... Where they can look up your order number, they see your name, they match it to the ID, and then you can show the card number that you paid with it for. There has to be some PayPal. sort of system. Did you talk to them and ask them, is there anything? I did, yeah. And I also was like, you guys have Wi-Fi? And he's like, nope. But I saw a public San Diego Zoo Wi-Fi, and I clicked it. And it's one of the biggest zoos in the fucking... It's like the biggest zoo in the world, I think. So they did have Wi-Fi, he just didn't feel like helping yeah, you Yeah, and, and then it didn't work when oh. I tried it. It okay. just turned like a like orange icon and was like no connection. I don't know why my phone's fine now. I'm back in LA. You already spent the money in San Diego, but uh, well, the passes are for any day. Oh, so I can go back. Okay, like next weekend if I wanted and go to the zoo. Are you? Uh, not next weekend, but maybe uh, in the next month or two. Okay. I really wanted to go. Is it a good zoo? It's I want to see the very monkeys. fun zoo. Well, I mean, I still have my ticket, and it's good for any day. So I was like, you know what? Also, it was kind of late in the day. It was already like four, and I was like. I still have to drive back to LA today. Maybe it's just better if I come another day and I come earlier. Wait, Matt. Let me I love San Diego, though. It it uh it rained today. Yes, it's pouring. It's still raining right and, now. And uh, here, this is on the drive back from training. Mm -hmm. I didn't send you this picture because I wanted your reaction on the podcast. Oh, okay. I sent it to you. Oh, you sent it to me. I do not disturb on. Whoa! What the fuck? Yeah, like two whole lanes like would go up to about half of where a car was. I don't see any ground at all. I only see water on the freeway. It looks like you're driving <laughs> in a lake. I know. It was How nuts. does that happen? I don't know. I guess like the highway was tilted, so all the water collected over on the side, which then filled up So that was two just like lanes. one spot? Emergency lane and then two other lanes. You drove right through it. I drove, well, I was on a farther lane. How deep was it? It was deep. Like, the, the deeper portions went up to, like, half of a car. Probably up to, like, almost Holy where the shit. window is. Dude, you should have swerved your car into it and then climbed out on top and started screaming for help. <laughs> there was just a cop there just sitting there with, like, their lights on, just, like, on their phone, not directing anyone around anything. <laughs> just a warn? Like, as, like, a warning? Wow, there's, know. like, waves and shit? Wow. 
Yeah, I took a video, but it's like right when I was getting out. I, I'll send that over to you as well. But that's it's just, crazy, dude. It's, it's I've never seen the highway flood in L.A. Right at the end of it. Well, I was driving past um on the way to. You the, can put up that image if you want. Yeah, so I, I will. See. I will. Uh, it's it's up right now for for visual watchers on YouTube. Uh, I also I noticed like the L.A. rivers flooding real real hard today. Because usually it's pretty pretty tame. But today it's like kind of like rapids, like brown rapids. Just I saw it pushing, pushing on the trees that grow in the middle. Uh huh. What do those ducks do? They have their whole little families down there. It's never rained. All of a sudden, one day it's just like. Well, knowing ducks, they probably just waddle away. Wow, damn, that's deep, dude. Wow. Well, it sucked because like my, you know, when you go to like record something for some reason, like when you want to record something quick, it's like it goes through multiple. What does that say? I just noticed on your screen, it, you're playing something called Jax Kills Pimp Greens, <laughs> and then dot, 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 it doesn't show the full name. It was an it was auto-playing off of my phone at some fucking Sons of Anarchy clips. <laughs> <laughs> it was just I just like, zoomed in and saw it because I saw Pimp, it caught my it eye. It auto-played on YouTube. I guess it was just suggested to me. I've never fucking seen the show. I've never looked up anything about it. I just drove, yeah, your, that, that, I drove your car. Uh so we go back to my place earlier. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I really love driving your car. Really? Every time I get in your car, though, it uh, NPR is playing really, really, really loud. Yeah. Like, the second I turn it on, it's like... Well, well, it's because I listen to regular music. And, like, I listen to that pretty loud, like, loud, on my phone. Yeah. And then when I unplug it, it still has it at that volume. But oh, it goes over to NPR. Okay. NPR is what I listen to if I can't, if I don't feel like listening to my music. Okay. I legitimately... Because cause this has happened for, like... Two years at least. Like I've just, <laughs> yep. So I've always, honestly, in the back of my head, just thought that you just, on the way to work, you just listen <laughs> to NPR that loud. <laughs> no! And I was like, that's fine if you want to. I just thought it was <laughs> no. funny. Big duty, because no, it's, no, it's no. very loud. Oh, I know. Like, I turn it when on. When I get in there, like, sometimes I'm like, I'm like, fuck. Ukrainian it's so forces. Loud. It's like, Jesus. So I actually thought that you listened to NPR that loud. No. Uh, no, baby boy. <laughs> Oh man, that now that that shatters like a. I'm sorry, man. That shatters a thing that I had for a long time, like a thought of like a the whole classic I about thing you. of not changing your volume after, or before turning your car off or whatever. Oh man, mine doesn't. Um, do a lot of people do that? Mine doesn't do that. Like if I turn it up all the way and turn it off, it won't come back with the volume up. Okay. Which I like, but my old Wish Honda Civic, my my old 2015 Honda Civic would. We should always start it at just like 20, maybe. Yeah. 15. A it's, light, so you can go... It's a good way to scare you. Oh, yeah. Or, just like I was saying with the fire alarm, it, it should slowly get up to that volume. Yeah. Also, I noticed the nuclear siren thing. That's basically just a, a more extended, advanced version of the sound. Yep. You know? Mm-hmm. They should hire us to do that recording for the nuclear I'll sirens. I'll do it. For money. Do you think they're- Just no, like how we did these ads for money. All right, fellas, let's chat skincare. If your skincare routine is basically you washing your face in the shower with that one shower gel that you've been using since high school, it's time to level up that skincare game. Because, as it turns out, that regular body wash you've been using that you thought was good enough is probably actually damaging your skin and drying it out. But thanks to Lumen, you could drop that bottle of 3-in-1 and start using products that actually take care of your skin. With Lumen, I get the highest quality products. All their products aim to help with those stubborn acne scars, under eye dark circles, which is what I personally love about it because y'all know me and my under eye circles have been looking fantastic lately. Wrinkles, sun damage, dry skin, oily skin, and more. Starting with Lumen is easy. All you have to do is take a two minute quiz on their website and they'll tell you exactly which routine is best for you based on your skincare needs. All of Lumen's products come with instructions, so it's incredibly easy and will help protect your skin from potential damage or future acne. I use Lumen because I'm trying to take better care of my skin now that I'm 26, and one of the main things is uh, I'm trying to get a good facial moisturizer every day to keep that skin soft, and they have a fantastic one. Plus, all the products are made only using natural ingredients that actually work, like licorice root extract, rose flower oil, charcoal powder, ginger, green tea, and charcoal. Guys, I swear skincare shouldn't be that complicated thing we dread doing, and thanks to Lumen, it's simple. It takes less than 90 seconds out of my day. Level up your skincare game with Lumen Skin today. Go to lumenskin.com slash super to get your free trial of Lumen's products. That's L-U-M-I-N skin.com slash super to get your free trial of Lumen's products. Lumenskin.com slash super. Ooh, fresh from San Diego, California comes the only sunglasses brand I'm ever going to wear again. I'm talking about Blender's Eyewear, and you're going to be just as hooked when you see how awesome these shades are. Blender sent me and Ryan a couple pairs, and I'll tell you what, we wear them around the office all day because these sunglasses are just too cool to take off. But when we do go outside in the hot Los Angeles sun, let me tell you, they, they perfectly 
block out that sunlight to just the perfect amount. And and they they look stylish too. All the ladies turn their heads and go, Wow, Matt and Ryan, where'd you get those sunglasses? And we say, from Blender's Eyewear, baby. Chase Fisher started Blender's by selling his beachy shades out of a backpack while doubling as a surf instructor on Pacific Beach. His goal was to create an adventurous, mid-priced eyewear option with the same cool factor as other leading styles. Unlike big, expensive, big brand shades that you've probably lost or smashed in the past, Blender's are actually affordable, so you're not going to cry as much when the inevitable happens. Blender's team of in-house designers are constantly coming out with new styles, from orange polarized wraparounds, tortoise shell frames, purple lenses, classic gold arms, black lenses, everything. And it's not just sunglasses. Blender's has prescription glasses, readers, and blue lights, as well as a snow collection with goggles and accessories. Live life in forward motion with Blender's today. To score 15% off your Blender's purchase, visit blenderseyewear.com and enter promo code SUPERVIP. That's blenderseyewear.com, code SUPERVIP, for 15% off. Blender's. Rocked with pride worldwide. And we're back. Yep. Do you think they have nuclear sirens like in L.A.? Do you think they're, they're like they could turn those on if they wanted? Yeah, they have to. Right? Are they just in every everywhere? major city, they got to have something like that. What would, you, what, what would you realistically do if we got an alert? Like, I'd right look now. up to see what the fuck was going on. Ultimately, that's just a warning of like, you're about to be fucked. Right, right now, if... if uh, we could, I, I don't think I would chance it on the roads. No. I think I'd probably just bunker down. If it happened right now, I think you and I would probably just, we'd be like, okay. Is there a room here without windows? No. Mm, Let's, no. Yes. The closet in the workroom. True. And the walls are concrete. Yep. So I think what we, we should do is. We stay in there for 24 hours. We should, we should really quickly. Get wet towels. Yeah, get wet towels. Uh, and then really quickly, uh, oh, I'd really quick, we have the jugs of water. But also I think what we should do is just in case fill up a couple buckets of water from the sink because you won't be able to use the sink water after, you know. Yeah. And then get some wet towels and then run into the kitchen as fast as we can and just grab a bunch of food and stuff and then just go into that closet and shut the door and wait it out. Also, if we don't get incinerated. Yeah. Ukraine shit's still going on, people. Yeah, Russia, knock it off. You can also, there's links you can look up to support. Yeah. And you, there's, ah, I wish I had it in front of me. There's this, uh, I think you might have put out the link or retweeted it or something, but it has several different things where you can donate specifically yeah. to a given cause. Um, like what, like uh, food or medicine or. Yeah, it's like really. It delegates it like that. It's very, very sad what's going on. I, I thought, I didn't know it, it's going to go on for a long time, I bet. Uh. Here, Ryan. Actually, I found a website that's a nuclear map. And I set Los Angeles as the city. And you can ch do different, you know. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's do the the largest. Here's a North Korean weapon that was tested in 2017. Let's use that one as an example. Because uh, they're, they're testing more weapons this week, actually. They started launching off missiles again. Oh, good for them. Uh... It would be an air burst. Okay, let's see. Let's see. So if if we detonated the one uh, North Korea launched in twenty, we we are out of the blast zone. Okay, good. Uh, but we are, we would definitely get hurt, and it would spread to us. But now, if we go over to uh, the bomb, like uh, ooh, ooh, how about the SAR bomb? It's the largest bomb ever designed by the Soviet Union. 100 mega... 100... Th oh, 100 megatons. All right. You ready for this shit? Would we be in the crater zone? Let's see. I just detonated. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude. Would that destroy, like, the full width of California? Mm, it Basically, the fireball, just the fireball would be all the way from down center of downtown uh to Glendale Jesus and then there would be you would get third degree burns being all over your body being in anywhere in here all the way to like Santa Cl through Santa like Clarita even inside just bunk everything down. incinerates and then everything in uh that yeah god damn dude and then that one is, you go over the mountains? Fuck. 
But and and that bomb was built. You like, want to be cl- closer to the blast radius for sure. Either that, if you're gonna die anyway, outside of it. You don't want to. Yeah, like I'd rather be outside of the blast radius. You want to be on the outer edges of it because then you'll get badly like what your insides get burned and shit. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at, like if you watched any of the nuclear test videos, like where they have the little house with like the people, they instantly catch on fire before the but before the blast hits, you just see like. <laughs> Like Jesus. everything just goes up in flames. Like the the dummies instantly catch on fire. The drapes burn up, and then the blast hits. So like it's before the, before the big like. Yeah. You know, that's so dude. It's so scary that we've made those. That's like the, that's like the the big big, fuck fuckery bad invention. Of so early in human history too. I know. When you think about like how long humans have been around. Like, relative to everything. The cosmic calendar. And then how quickly we develop nuclear weapons. Yeah. It's very scary. Uh, and also the SAR bomb. Have you ever seen the video of it? Mm-mm. It's the biggest nuke ever detonated by the Soviet Union. That's what you said earlier, yeah. It's it's the biggest bomb ever detonated. And it uh, the video is really scary. It's like, it, it, it's, it looks like you're in hell. How big the fucking fireball is. And uh, that was like the 50s. So what do we have now? 70 something years later what type of fucking new dude giant gundams probably what type of weapons do you think the united Mecha states godzilla has? i bet china might have better weapons you think no no our fucking defense spending is so high that our budget for our military is insane although who knows how much of that is just milked into the pockets of people and it's, not the actual expenses used on it was like seven hundred fifty billion or something. I know with that much money, there's no, there's no. You could just pocket an infinite amount, and you could still make a lot of progress with the technology. I wonder how strong of nuclear weapons like we're, we we have made that we're capable of. We can't test them. Strong. We can't test them because you're not allowed to. Geneva Convention, I think, said no more testing. But North Korea is doing it. <laughs> well, I guess we have to wipe them out too. I guess we'll have to. I wonder if in our lifetime if we're ever going to see a solution to the Korean crisis. Will we ever see a unified Korea? Or will, we, will we ever see... We're going to watch the death of Kim Jong-un and Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump and Joe Biden. It would take a lot because, I don't know, a lot of dynasties and a lot of like rulers have been overthrown. A lot of people would die. There's been a revolutions through history, though, right? Yeah, I feel like North Korea has to have a revolution at some point because like, they have so revol- many of the people are starving and, and, and unhappy. And no one's going to step in. It's always that whole, like, literally, <laughs> it's kind of like Will Smith at the Oscars. Like, Will Smith was Russia, and then Chris Rock is Ukraine. And then, <laughs> and then everyone else just is like, ha, 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 yeah. ha, ha. Russia gets well. I guess you know we we. Uh, Everyone's just watching. They're all the other countries. <laughs> yep, that's a great analogy. And then some are taking stances of like that's not good. I can't support Will Smith in this. But still, at the end of the day, they didn't do anything. Yeah, <laughs> that's wild. That's a that's a good one. And uh, when Tyler Perry and Denzel came up to like comfort Will after and Bradley that, Cooper, God rest his soul. Uh, Brad- he looked so cute in his vest. Bradley Cooper was Belarus, because Belarus is also. Declaring war on Ukraine and shooting rockets at them and stuff. Because yeah. they're Russia's little bitch. They'll do whatever Russia says. I feel so, like, those those poor little men in their cute little suits. Bradley Cooper. Just, oh, Denzel Washington. Hero. When he had his hands on Will Smith's shoulder and he was like, Will, it's all right. <laughs> Tyler Perry going, mm, child. He did. He he. What well, he actually cheered. Will had tears in his eyes, but he did uh, his Medea voice, and it cheered up Will so Those much. Those are tears that, of laughter. Yes, joy. Because the I, I saw like a photograph. Where it was like it appears that Will Smith has tears in his eyes while talking to Tyler Perry, and it's actually he was just tears of laughter because of the Medea voice. If Will was crying, it wasn't because of what he did or what Chris Rock said or his wife's reaction. If Will was fucking crying. Then it was because he all of a sudden went, I shouldn't have done that. Fuck. I fucked everything up. He's worrying about himself. Like every other narcissist there. Maybe he's just a big baby. I think they're all big babies. Yeah. That's 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 what started this. Hollywood's take fuck, a joke. dude. Yeah, like I saw a video of Tiffany Haydish like saying some stupid shit mm-hmm. about it. She was She's on the camp of like, she's like, well, all I'm saying, would you want your husband to defend you? And it's like, 
what the fuck are you talking about, you idiot? Like, no, you shouldn't go up and assault people because you got your feelings hurt. We've been through this. We've said it. But I don't know. People people think it's okay to hit others, and it's and it's not unless you're in a boxing match. Yeah, then it's fucking awesome, <laughs> you know? It's fucking dope. Fuck the Smiths. They all suck. You don't like the band, the Smiths? I don't know. Willow seems chill. Has Willow done anything stupid? Uh, no, I don't know. I, don't... I know Jane's done a lot of good charity work. God rest his soul. Rest in peace, brother. Yeah, uh, I don't know. There's, there's another kid, too, I think. Yeah, but he's not important. He stays out of the... This is the... He wasn't attractive enough. <laughs> I'm kidding. Do you think any celebrities... This is just the roast. I'm just... Do you think any celebrities, like, you know, that have kids... Like, and they try to make their kids famous. Like, there's just one kid that they purposely don't because they know the kid's ugly. And they're like, I just, well, we don't need to sign you up <laughs> for acting not classes. a good actor. Then why was Jaden in so many movies? Pursuit of happiness? Pursuit of penis, more like Will. I've lost all respect. Fuck Will Smith, dude. <laughs> and, I don't know. People fuck are, Will Smith? <laughs> yeah, he sucks. So, I'm sorry, did you say fuck Will Smith? Yes. Is that going to be the name of the episode? Huh? Fuck Will Smith. <laughs> Ryan, are you publicly challenging Will Smith to a duel? Yeah, to a boxing match. He's a YouTuber. I challenge him to a duel. No, he's fit. I challenge him to a duel, like an old style, like m- pistol duel. Oh, like the pistols that don't even shoot straight. Yeah, the pit where it's like Will Where's and the I fucking have to barrels like, gonna blow off. We turn it's- back to back and we and we we each take ten paces. <laughs> yep, and then. We draw. Then there's a big clock tower, and the moment it goes dong at noon. Yeah. I love that that's how people settled things with those duels, because it's like, uh, one of us is going to get killed, but let's still follow these rules. It's like... It's an honorable, you know, no one has the upper hand. Unless someone cheats. I wish that's how they still settled things. It's like, I don't. Dude, did you hear these two celebrities are going to have a duel? <laughs> and they go, fucking turn, and bam! What do you think? What do you think about Will after this? Will? What's your honest opinion of Will Smith? No, I think he sucks. Okay. I think, yeah, fuck him. That, that was like super uncool and uncalled for even if even if the joke was in poor taste yeah like and also setting the precedent that if you wouldn't defend your woman no i'm a pussy you know uh honestly like setting the well they're not even married anymore are they they are keep my wife but she oh but she's having relationships with other men she did i don't know if she still is she might still be she was she fucking. Who, who was it? Who was who was clapping Jane's cheeks, baby? No, I think that it's also a uh, bad to set the precedent of being able Jada. to do that with no consequences. Because like, if if he was if he's able to do that with no consequences, then get a standing ovation. Then it's like, you know, that kind of sets a precedent that if you don't like a joke, then you're allowed to act out. People getting their feelings hurt by comedy. It's comedy, sweetheart. <laughs> who was the like, dude that, like, made a song about having sex with her. Oh, that was me. <laughs> no, do you remember, I though? had sex with her. Do you not remember, Matt? No. I remember that interview where she's talking about, uh, you know, her stuff, and Will's, like, sitting there with, like, tears in his eyes. <laughs> August Alsina has released a new song titled Entanglements. Ooh, oh, because, because she because said of the interview Entanglement. Said their relationships and entanglement. 48 said her marriage to actor Will Smith 51 was over as she spilled all on her entanglement with love rival August, which prompted him to express his point of view through a song. Ooh. He was given permission to have an affair with the actress by her Hollywood actor star Hubby, but Jada set the record straight in her red table talk. <gasps> During her Publicist ch- or publicized chat with Will Jada clarified her husband didn't have to give the new love rival permission because they were almost in- indefinitely broken up. We're over almost indefinite. So that I love how like <laughs> she's changing it up. She's like, I didn't. He he didn't need to give him permission to fuck me. I could have fucked anyone I wanted. I gave you permission, baby. I, I gave him permission. Uh, what the hell is this? NBC. I Bad marriage for life. You remember that one? Yep. Yep. NBC News. had This is the title of their article. Will Smith appeared to hit Chris Rock at the Oscars. Appeared? Appeared? <laughs> I don't think he Maybe appeared to hit him. Maybe this is a Jimmy Kimmel stunt. Are, are, have either of them addressed it? No. Do you think Chris Rock will say anything? 
Uh, if only. <laughs> Did you see Judd Apatow's tweet? No. It's, Judd, everyone was clowning on Judd Apatow because he was really upset about it. But the first line of his tweet was, "That could he could have killed him." <laughs> and I was like, "Dude, he could have killed him. He could have killed him if he hit him right in the temple." Dude, dude. Chris, Chris Rock, Chris Rock almost fucking died last night. He almost got slapped to death. I'm sure it's possible to slap someone to death. I'm on Twitter. What's trending? Ethan Klein, Pete Davidson. Uh, oh, what's going on with Pete? Uh, you mean Skeet? <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Yo, yay the goat, no cap. Bro. If Will Smith can hit Chris Rock, just imagine what Kanye West is planning for Pete Davidson. And, uh, just imagine what I'm planning for your mom, Ryan. All right, well, that wraps it up for this week's... <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ryan McGee just smacked the shit out of me. <laughs> Get my mom's I name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a your mom joke. Keep my mom's name out your fucking mouth.